Welcome everybody to the Monday, June 3rd, 6 p.m. meeting of the Conway Select Board here at Town Hall. This meeting is being recorded live on Recording FK. in progress. Ah, it's being recorded live this Monday, June 3rd meeting on FCAT and Zoom. If for any reason the recordings fail, the live meeting will still proceed as scheduled. Um, rather than start off with, uh, I'll call the meeting to order, rather than, than start off with minutes and warrants, since we have Karen Eldred here, a, uh, a wonderful library volunteer, um, we're going to ask her to sp speak about the season story walk presentations at Veterans Memorial Park. With so the, the town team. administrator asked me to come in. Yeah. Every time we do a story walk, I email her and let her know. Yeah. Um, and the last time she said, well, will you go in and say something to the select board? So about five years ago, David, who was the yeah. past director at the library, asked for story walks. And rather than pay to create them, the Frontier Union District has an early childhood person who has like 40 of them prepared. Oh, wow. And I, I've known her from the past because I worked in public school. So I contacted her and we've sporadically had them. They were hard to coordinate with the director of the library. He wanted the book, whatever book we put out, he wanted to have it. The new director said, I approached her again about story walks and the idea of having on a predictable basis. And she was like, go for it, and I don't care what books you do. So we're doing them for six months. The third weekend of each month, except for July when we're having two. So these are the ones we're doing this year. We do them on the Veterans yeah, Hall. it's wonderful. I don't know if you know what story walks are. They're fabulous. Or maybe just explain so people watching yeah. know what they are. So those are the story walks. This is the person from Frontier that I yeah. deal with. So what they are is the union sponsors story walks in all the towns. Conway's the only one who doesn't do it. Actually, we have the least amount of engagement with early childhood in the district of any other town. So Amy and I have been just trying to find ways to bring it in. Most towns have, um, and it's all paid for, it's free. Most towns have play groups for families of young children. They have music events, and they have story walks, and a few other things. So what they are, so this past month was the Tiny Seed by Eric Carl, which is appropriate for this time of year. So it's just panels, and it depends, the number of panels depends on the book, that children walk along and read with their parents. You know, we put, I put them up on Friday afternoons and I take them down at the end of the day on Sunday. There's a bin that fits out there. It's a clear bin. It's got little activity kits in it that they can take. Um, it helps us keep a little bit of a count, but not everybody takes them. So we're hoping by doing them on a predictable basis, maybe over the next year or two, then they'll be used more. And if not, if it's three kids a month who read, that's, you know, anytime you get young children with their families to go and read a book, it's worthwhile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And there's a lot of adults that enjoy children's literature and enjoy, oh, and enjoy these things. And I have to tell you, I go to, I go to all of these. Um, and, because uh, I like children's literature, um, but I've never been the only one there when I've been, when I've been there. Yeah, so. I'm a big fan of children's literature too. And Chris, the assistant from the library, who's there on Saturday, said several times people have come in and thanked him for doing those. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, in a nutshell, that's what they are, and that's what we're trying to do: enhance um, literacy in young children. And I think once you see the signs, that the, the yellow, the, the, I think that that's, there's a familiarity now that when the yellow right. lawn signs are up, then. Right, and we have three signs that we put up that say Story Walk this yeah. weekend mm -hmm. with an arrow. The only weekend they're not here is Festival Weekend, mm -hmm. and they lead along the lower driveway to the community room where there's a book sale. Mm -hmm. And last year there was a lot of um, people who came into the book sale and said, oh, that's great, I'm glad you, you know, you did that. Cool. Yeah. 
That's great. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. So it costs nothing. Yeah. If the select board's ever interested in contacting Amy, she really wants to try to get a presence in this town that she's struggled with. Mm. You know, I don't know. Why has she struggled with it? What's the, what's the I struggle? Don't, I, I don't really understand it, and she's diplomatic. You know, so I don't know whether it's the school feels like they don't need it, or there's, I know the library, David, was hesitant to sponsor stuff. So whether Phoebe will be more open to that than we're hoping. What ideally would be wonderful for this town um, is to have an every other week play group. Most towns have play groups for families of young children. You know, they're set up, they're run by this woman or whoever's the coordinator for individual districts. And they set up a play group with appropriate materials. Um, parents, babysitters, grandparents show up with their children. They hang out for two hours, they play. They do music, they read a story, they have a snack. It's just a way for yeah. young fa families of young children who are sometimes isolated to be able to come together. Yeah. So when they come I, together with the seniors. Can see some synergy yeah. there. Well, the, no, you know, the, the, the thing is, so first of all, Conway has like a a history of sort of being the uh, the outsider when it comes to the four schools and the shared services. Um, and we, but we also have the best or the gold standard in terms of the elementary schools in the four. My daughter so, went through the school. I probably know more of the history. Yeah, 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 but but like I, we have the full time. Conway has a full time reading reading specialist. Right. Not all not all three of the other schools do. Con, um, Conway has the full time adjustment counselor. Right. Not um, none of the other three schools have a full time. Right, but that's all ages three and up. Yeah. This so program, and Amy works with um, families and children zero through three. Yeah. Which is, again, That's uh, what like want. seniors, an isolated group of people, yeah. and um, play groups tend to bring them together. After I retired from public ed, I worked for early intervention, which is birth through three through the Department of Health, working with families who have children with special needs. And we went to story hour, I mean, um, play groups all over with our children. Because again, talk about isolation. If you have a ch child who's got special needs, often you're even more isolated. Yes. And totally. play groups gave great role models. They gave parents the ability Sorry. to connect. Yeah, so the, the social aspect alone seems like it'd be a yeah. huge benefit yeah. to young parents. Yeah. So. I think if that's something that someone were willing to kind of, you know, coordinate okay. and spearhead, then I'm going to be seeing definitely. I'm going to be seeing Kristen next week, the principal. Um, I might call you to go up and meet with her with me. Sure, if I'm around, I can do that. Um, yeah, there. I think Sunderland Story Time or Play Group is held at Sunderland Elementary. What did you want? Just my Your name. leave a message. Yep. But Amy is really trying to engage with this town more like she yeah. does with the other three towns. Mm -hmm. that like she does grant well, writing, great she brings start. in musicians for you know, she does a lot of great stuff. And when I worked in public school I know families loved them. And when I worked in early intervention they were a valuable resource. Yeah. And even little towns like Roe have play groups. We're kind of, we pay 17% of her salary. We're entitled to 17% of those services. Yeah, well, I think, so, um, just, yeah, I, I think if we can. Yeah. Right. But Story Walks is one way that we're hoping that. that this year we can finally get something established that's predictable yeah. and will be ongoing every year. Some towns, when I go hiking, they have permanent storyboard panels or places set up and you yeah. just slide it in. And the next month you take it out, you put it in, and it's up all month. Yeah, Leverett. Up on a hiking trail. Leverett has a trail that has that, I saw. Right, and I've taken pictures of those. But that would take a pretty sizable amount of money, plus a commitment for a town to have something permanently put in. Yeah. Like South Meadow would be a cool place it to do something. They talked be. about that, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Well, there's great for that catches on, and we'll have a need to do that, yeah, right? Sounds like a great first start. To yeah, move it's a great program. program. Yeah. Um, Thank you for doing this. Very neat. has been very supportive of it and Good. asked me to come in. Great. Thank, Thank you. you so Good. much, Karen. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you. All right. Back to the top of the batting order. Uh, vote to approve the minutes of May 28th. Anybody have any problems with them? That fail looked good to me, so okay. I move to approve. So second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So the, the three, three warrants, a pay, uh, accounts payable, an amount of $145,330.64. Payroll warrant, the amount of $128,406.51. Payroll deduction warrant, the amount of $31,189.74. I saw them, most of them are schools. What's not schools is thoroughly uninteresting and not worthy of conversation. Um, uh, I move to approve warrants as read. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Meetings attended by select board. <laughs> and town meeting. meeting. There you go. I already wrote that down. <laughs> there you go. Um, and that was good. It was good. Um, unfinished business. Um, discussion and possible vote on increasing fiscal year 24 highway wages to the fiscal year 25 amounts that were just recently set by town meeting mm -hmm. upon the passing of article 2 for current highway positions and for current job advertisements for open highway positions so um, the reason that this is before us is because next year next fiscal year doesn't start until July 1 <coughs> right um, so um, so the, would, this would basically this would, this increase would start everyone right now up their salary June third through the end of the month. Correct, and yeah. um, this, which would especially be advantageous. Well, I mean, for the current people, of course, but also but for, for the for, for, for the job posting, that yeah. would be very helpful. Um, and that way, we wouldn't have to wait until July one to do the posting. Um, so, and there is money in the fiscal year twenty four highway department budget that is left um, with one more month in that fiscal year there is more than enough money to pay these amounts that what, we would be what would be the date of the change it would be today it would be july 3rd i mean june 3rd well today okay. was a, today was a payroll so it would probably be the, the two, next payroll two, yeah two weeks okay. i mean i would i would support making it retroactive to june 1st if that's i don't know if that makes a difference i'm not sure if we can do that um, generally, I know that 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 came up a little bit in the town meeting when there was a desire to do something retroactive, and the lawyer oh, said you can't this, yes, you yeah, can't do anything yeah. retroactive. Yeah. What you can do is add more going forward. Right. Um, yeah. But and that's that's just what's sticking in my head about that. But I and I wouldn't have any issue with that. But we but, don't know. Yeah. I don't want to. Let's if, if it's similar, just to start tomorrow, and it's easy for Dan. Well, you, you figure today's pay okay. sheets were from the last two weeks of May. Right. So, oh, so, yeah, so the today, next yeah. if anything, we're not will be from, right. you know, today. To See, but if, if we make this effective, to, it, it's effective when we vote for it. Um, Jan would just then have to pay extra and the next payroll to account. For, like, it, it might mess Jan's payroll thing up, but um, I'm not so sure that they have to wait until the next payroll. But... Maybe we just vote it and then we can find oh, no, out. Today, today's yeah. payroll covered <laughs> last up, up last, to okay. right. Saturday. Right. Yeah. So. And then the next payroll is in two weeks. Yeah. And so that'll be for this week. And I mean, I'm, I support this and so I'm willing to, do it. to vote and let Jan work, <laughs> <laughs> let Jan work out. I mean, she would have to go back. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'll move to increase fiscal year 24 highway wages to the fiscal year 25 amounts as recently approved on Saturday by town meeting in article upon the passage of article 2 for all current highway positions and for the sake of the advertisements that are about to be posted for open highway positions second all in favor aye, aye. aye. It's unanimous. Um, Review of annual town meeting. Uh, I've been asked not to call this the autopsy, but I like that term. I don't know. I, it's hard to give that up. Um, 
I think well, I suppose it's, it's, the, I think actually it depends it's one on the, the year. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think it's actually one of the neat initiatives that we've done as a select board over the and oh. other towns do not do this. And we never used to do this. We used to avoid thinking about we, we used to just be so it's grateful done. it was <laughs> over that we would never think about it. Right. But I think it's pro it's proved itself that I mean, just from you know last year sitting down with the moderator, um, I think that that really was a beneficial thing for everybody to do. Uh -huh. It was, um, and uh, you know, one one of the things that one one of the th I was amazed at the absence of negative feedback. <laughs> um, so uh, that was like a first that nobody could, nobody had really a snarky thing to say, um, and. Part of it was because the people that may have been inclined to say snarky things, I saw them before town meeting, and they're like, "You come in with a budget under three percent, and there's nothing I can, like, there's nothing I can piss and moan about. If I can't stand up there and carry on, what the hell's the fun of it?" So yeah. they didn't come, um, and you know, but but part of it too is that um, you know the budget was reasonable and. I know, I know it is an arbitrary amount, that 3%, but it's an important psychological arbitrary amount. I, I totally agree. And, I um, think everybody came prepared to, and, I mean, yeah. just the, pre the, the handouts and everything helped in a big way. It, it did, it did. Um, and there, there are connoisseurs of our town meeting. There really are. There's, there's a few people that really, really enjoy coming. <laughs> um, and to hear from them that, you know, for, to hear from like the Peter Jeswalds of the world, that this was the best run town meeting that they were ever at. It was the smoothest, mm -hmm. and that nobody said anything that they shouldn't have said, right. or that was inappropriate, that or that went, very or that went longer than it had to, or that it was shorter <laughs> than it needed to be. Yeah. He was like, it was just flawless and perfect. Well, we and did it, talk a lot about pickleball. Yeah, so, that, yeah, so, I, I, so only, that's, that's that was my only thing. And, I would and, say and there were people within our town government that was like that went that went the pickleball thing went on a long time. Yeah. Um, Jan's presentation was lengthy, yeah. um, passionate but lengthy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and and like I, it's, the stuff always never ceases to amaze me that like seven million dollar budget Article Two. There's one feeble comment, like basically barely a question. It passes overwhelmingly with no discussion, yeah. and then the nine thousand uh -oh. dollar, the nine thousand dollar street light study. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't matter because we have that cat here. Yeah. 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 I know. <laughs> we said if something happens, yeah. it, 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 it always happens. Because, yeah. But the the nine thousand dollar street light study that that took so much time. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I mean, I, as far as like limiting the, um, you know, the only, I mean, I. I I think would be, I can see why Jimmy was kind of unable to like step in and like kind of limit that people. Yeah. Like that's, that was tricky. I just wonder if like, you know, like in the presidential debates, they have like a clock, yeah. like the timer. Right. But I don't, but you know, maybe just But the general, people just ignore the clock though. And well. It's, it's up to the moderator. It's up to the it's moderator. Up, and we yes. already had sort of, a, he did have a stopwatch. I saw he had a two minute thing. Right. But I, I think sometimes the visual, so people can actually see, like yeah. they realize like, oh, I'm approaching my time. I need to speed up. Um, yeah. And, and, and so that, I mean, I, I, I had two suggestions. One was if we have an issue like that where where people have already prepared the handout and basically the presentation is the handout when someone says you know when, when they get up to do the presentation like tell people like refer to the handout like everything that you right. need to know is here i don't need to read the whole thing i don't need to talk for 10 minutes um and then my other suggestion was to put all of that um all of the articles that are just kind of housekeeping that we do annually just lump those all together so that we can kind of get out, just tell people, okay, the next five articles, we do this every year, <laughs> and the explanation is here. That's so a good read idea. the explanation, and if you still have questions after that, you know, ask a question. That's a very good idea. Especially actually. if it's a legal thing we have to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is explain that this this is by law we have to do this. Yeah. So there's no question. And yeah. not that we don't want to entertain questions, but uh, but so many of the questions people asked, I was like, th like it's yeah. we back it's. If you read the handout, yeah, you yeah, wouldn't yeah. have had to ask that uh, question. So I, so I think maybe just, but particularly for those ones that are just, um, you know, routine housekeeping, I'd like to see them all, you know, lumped together at the, yeah, you know, at the front of the. the and the, it related to that though, I think you know, this there was more of an emphasis on starting on time this year. Yeah. 
and um, which which was also good. Which is good, but yeah. there were a few. There were there was a, still a little bit of a line when we started. Quite a bit, yeah. Um, and you know, so so the, in the, progress. you know, the thing is that you're you're saying okay, you want people there on time. Yeah. But actually, we're there on time. You want so we, what we really want is them people to come early. Right. Yeah. And that we should be clear about that in the future. Right. Starts um, at starts 10, at 10 probably um, 10 get and there be, by 9 30 because you the because we are handing out like the, this really useful yeah. Yeah, handouts that, that everybody works really hard in creating yeah. um and you see people like hurrying into the room clutching them and they yeah. just don't ha there isn't the time yeah. so yeah. like either we start either we like say we're starting at 10 o'clock but don't really start till five or ten after mm -hmm. like or right. or we say be there at quarter of ten, and start. We start at ten o'clock, but like we should, we should factor in like the five minutes or so for people to right. read the stuff session. once they yeah. sit down. Yeah, and um, we didn't. So that was like the that's only even thing. something we can put on the yeah. sandwich yeah. board. Yeah, right. You know, nine forty-five. Yeah. Right. Are you writing these notes down? You write these notes down. Literally, is only job. Well, no, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Um, well, so if you're coming up, that was a good idea, and then you're like, hey, how can you say that idea and write that idea at the same time? Because like, he wrote it before he said it. <laughs> so, um, okay, that makes sense. And we we did have a couple people who came in at the end, and and the our poll workers weren't there to deliver clickers, so they yeah. had to go out. So I think that we just need to clarify too, because someone said, oh, I thought I could come in at any point no. and vote yeah. on anything I wanted. So. Um, I think we just maybe make that, you know, more clear. that like that you can like after ten thirty. I mean, I don't know. I actually don't know. That'd be probably a question for Veronique and Lori. But I don't know at what point the you know our poll workers came in to sit and actually <laughs> participate and right. weren't there to hand out clickers. Yeah, that's a good point. But if we have that schedule, we can just make that clear. So show up by ten thirty. Otherwise, you know, no vote for you. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, but the. Um, I, I, the, the thing that the, the new instruct the moderator instructions in the beginning were really good. Yeah. Um, and it worked. Like even and and I was I I was happy to see that like even the very last article, the people like kept that two minute thing in right. mind. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> I was grateful to see how the town treated <clears throat> the seventh grader with mm -hmm. respect. Oh yeah. And like didn't. You know, at like like what happened in Deerfield did not happen yeah. here, mm -hmm. um, and um, and I also afterwards I loved her comment and she you know she was like there were so many more people here than in any of the other two towns I knew was was really scared I never talked to that many people before in my life what yeah. a great experience for her because yeah. Yeah, yeah. passed <laughs> yeah um, so I thought I thought you know I thought just the whole thing the whole thing was about as good as it's going to get, it's all downhill from there. No, yeah, don't say that. Yeah. No. But <laughs> we're, just, we're only getting better. No, I know. As we go. And like no. Jimmy stated, the two equipment, the microphone runners, I thought sped it up quite a oh, bit. Oh, for too. sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, so, that yeah, absolutely. Good to have both of them there. Yeah, Adam, thank you. Troy, thank you. Um, that definitely was good. That was definitely good. And, um, you know, and being able to being able to get it done without having to take a break and without yeah. that without having to take that food and or right like that was also key. It, we, it was just a little over two and a half hours, right? Yeah, that yeah. Was, yeah. 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 And that is that's we pretty good for that many articles. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I think it helped that it was a gorgeous sunny day and yeah. people well, wanted to get out yeah. of there. But I was actually it was pleasantly surprised to see how many people did show up because it like you know at five to ten. It was yeah. like no one's. That's true. We should have opened up all the doors and had people outside running through yeah. like, like sprinklers and ice yeah. cream. Well, Just keep passing by, looking inside and looking. Uh, that's, yeah. that's a cute. That's cute. <laughs> and I, I think this oh, this. Oh, speed it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when when the clickers are working, so when the clickers are working and they were working, it it, it, um, it really saved a lot of time. Oh yeah. And this was one of the, so it was neat getting feedback from Darius and from um, you know the people that go to all the town meetings mm -hmm. and this, that Jessica Corwin, the mm -hmm. school committee advisor on the last article, yeah, um, 
She was like, I never was at a meeting with the clickers. They saved so much time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the time that they saved is like dead time. Yeah. Where people have nothing to do really. Yeah. And um and they just if people are frustrated about something, the frustration, they stew in their frustration. Yeah. Like, right. um, they're antsy. But the way that we're, when you're able to just have a vote and within like five seconds, you're able to start with tally. the next one. The whole tally. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. yeah. And, yeah. and just go on to the next one. We were, we were like moving through those things. Mm-hmm. Um, and like a well-oiled machine. Like a well-oiled <laughs> machine. And machine. Summer, summarizing long red articles was also helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that was the town council saying it's okay to do that if yeah. you want. I was like, yeah. oh, okay, good idea. And I, um, it, w- it was helpful that she was there because she, you know. Yeah, yeah I think she should come to each one yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, I was like, why did we never have her there before? And I, yeah, um, well, she couldn't, she had a larger, right, yeah. last year she had a larger town that had the same date. That's, that's right, um, I know, she had a lot going on too. Like everyone else, the small towns get the short street, yeah. like everything else. But, um, and then, yeah, no, no, and the year before that, her husband. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so she had, yeah that's right. Like, but that was great. I'd love to have Donna back for the next one. Yeah. Special um, town meeting. So that, I thought, you know, it went well. It was pretty cool. And it was nice getting feedback to that, that you know, that recognizes everybody's hard work yeah. and um, everybody's, you know. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. it. It's just crazy how much goes into it. And you're like... What do you mean? How can there be no Article Two? We spent six months on. Oh my God! The blood, sweat, <laughs> yeah. and tears that go into Article Two. Like, how can there be no questions? No Come on, people, questions. ask questions. Yeah. Like, but, but no, it was. It was good. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. It's all good. Um, and uh, anything else anybody want to add about that? Uh-uh. Like, I think as far as autopsies go, is about the kindest one that we can come up with. There's yeah. really. Really, nothing that you can. Quick, quick post mortem. Excuse me. Yeah, post mortem. There you go. Much nicer. Um, items not anticipated. Forty-eight hours. Anybody? Nope. Town administrator update. Do um, vacation? The um, select board member comments, concerns. I am not not very pleased with um, the responses of Next Amp. And. Uh, Eversource. Eversource. Um, this, the planning board and I are discussing um, what options we have. Yeah. So this is, you know, it's this is an interesting thing because um, when when God, the the last time I was with a couple months ago, last time I was with the a member of the select board from each of our neighbor, the three frontier towns, mm-hmm. we all have solar arrays now, mm-hmm. and. Um, it turns out that Nexamp is like the only one that returns calls at all. Yeah. Um, Maybe not and, timely, but yeah, yeah. And and like, and there are, um, and and we were talking about uh, like what's the big big I think Pittsfield, Pittsfield has like a huge one. The company that got that contract, as soon as all the stuff was signed, and the thing got plugged in, they, um, they closed down their Massachusetts office. Like the phone numbers are dis, you know, oh disconnected, God. and they're back to it was it was all just like a shell front for like whatever giant Texas multinational, yeah. you know, whatever, and, um, and and like you can't get them, and 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 they did it. They actually put their arrays down so much that the snow. There's like big big problems with snow buildup, um, mm-hmm. and like messing up the arrays and shorting stuff out, and like. Oh, wow. um, and you can't, they can't even get anybody on the phone. Even if they are the better than the other companies, it's still a yeah, very sure. low bar. Yeah. No, and, and <laughs> like my concern is if they did actually power it back up again and did not notify the residents. Yeah, they didn't give, or, didn't or the town, a, they yeah. didn't give so anyone in. They had no plan whatsoever to shut it back to avoid the same yeah. horrific scenario that happened before. That is totally unacceptable. Yeah, so there is, um, a, 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 one of the select board members in a neighboring town is quite the expert on all of the minutia of the rules and regulations and state public utilities commission stuff. I would um, like that contact info. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and he's like, you know, you're really at, it, the, 
the, the, all, the way all of these things are written is for the benefit of industry. Yeah. That, that we forget when Governor Deval Patrick, in a budget saving move, um, closed the office of public advocate, ratepayer public advocate, which represented the public in all of these things. Mm -hmm. So um, you're just left with regulations that are very industry fav favorable. Um, and the, the role of the select board actually legally is over once we reach the agreement, the 20 year agreement with them which was four years ago. Right. We actually have no statutory, the select board has no statutory or regulatory role. I figured and, that was the case from what we've discussed before and talking to council, but I still want to kind of be a the megaphone for yeah, these, the, these I, No, and I know the planning board still theoretically has, you yeah. know, open terms and conditions on, you know, um, permits, etc., cetera, and mm -hmm. is the one that could theoretically take action on behalf of the town. They, they're the only, the only one. But what I did not like is the Eversource representative communicating to a resident that they are in touch with the town council. Is um, that true? Well, the town council in our, is a lawyer. The town that, That's so the, our town council. No, but they're not. They were not oh. in touch with. They meant C O U N C I L is how they spelled it. Like, oh. Oh. and so they're confused, referring to the select board, oh. um, and and that you sh and, and she was trying to slough off the questions from yeah. her to the select board, and like knowing that the select board has no. We're just like them. We we yeah. write to them and we hope that they answer us. Yeah. Um, but their my understanding is that and I'm really pretty sure of this, is that they have no obligation to respond to our concerns, or right, that they've already got all the permitting necessary to plug in and go. Well, um, wasn't it, um, I, was it Schutzbury, or there's another town that, that, our, that our town lawyer represents where the planning board tried to change the bylaws so that they could kind of, like, I mean, having had a solar array put in, they tried to change the bylaws to make it more advantageous or, you know, give homeowners residents more rights and um and there, and there was a lawsuit and and they lost <laughs> well well one of their members is one of our members now so i can no. ask him um <laughs> it's, it's, I, well i don't know if it was shootsbury i remember i, I read it in the, in the recorder i had a brief conversation it probably with was shootsbury it, but, it probably was um, shootsbury but i was like dang like you know i mean they yeah. just literally wanted to update their bylaws and the solar company was like you know argued against it. Uh, now, what, like, the reason that they stopped is because the levels, the, 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 apparently the harmonic convergence levels are a regulatory thing, yeah. and they exceeded the permissible limit. Mm -hmm. So um, they stopped, but before any enforcement, you know, but so like, so who tested it? It can't be them testing it. It was them testing so it. So they're testing their own was it regulations. Or Nexamp? No, it was Nexamp. See, that doesn't that, make any like, sense. No, and like, you know, but that's part of like the whole, like our whole setup as a small town yeah. in which you have a planning board um, that does not have a budget for, you know, health testing of any kind, does not have a budget for. Uh, lo, you know, it, uh, lawsuit eventualities, yeah. like the, the hiring of counsel, etc., does not have any like reserve funds for any eventuality like that. And so, you know, there's an argument to be made that, you know, the regionalization of town governments for the purposes of permitting these things, so that we are we can be in a better position to. Is, th there there may come a point in time when like, Eversource next amp says no 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 we tested it it's good to go but residents are like it's just as bad as it was and i'm having all these health problems um then what do we do like, yeah i mean can you even legally get somebody a, a third party to come in there and perform the same test if it's not if it's not approved by next amp or eversource that's crazy that's like a grocery store stamping their food good to go yeah with bypassing the fda yeah that makes no sense i mean <laughs> the, the public utilities commission has 
staff that can do these things. The, the state regulate the, all these things are just regulated by the state, which yeah. means that the towns can't really regulate on that great granular level. I'm gonna do yeah. some digging. This but, is crazy. <laughs> um, but the Public Utilities Commission does have a, a significant budget, and they do have health experts, and they do have they do test these things, but. Um, you know, and they do have the ability to punish or fine or pull licenses from companies that, you know, exceed permissible limits, which is why those companies have a vested interest in self-reporting when, you know, and doing like honest testing and all that. Yeah. But, you know, we're not privy to that. They don't call us up and say, come look at the test as they come in. Here's the limits. Um, well, they didn't provide any reports. They just no, said, they said, done, they they said everything is good to go. Right. But, yeah. you know, they said the they provided a report, and I read through the whole thing, and there was no, there was no testing on yeah. it whatsoever. Right. And that's, you know, part of it is if an Eversource engineer actually talks to people, they'll get fired. Yeah. Like, they have to go through public relations. So by the time that happens, everything's been sanitized and lawsuit proofed and right. um, et cetera, et cetera, corporatized corporate communications. And, you know, so you get these bullet lists that are relatively devoid of information. Well, yeah. there's certainly a lot less information than that company engineers at one time had, but yeah. Um, okay. Thanks. Like it's, I'll, I'll look it's a tough thing it. because the residents end concern. up like upset with yeah. us. Oh, I know. And I like, know. You're, you're like, yeah, our, role, our, hands our, are tied. Our, yeah. role, our role ended when we signed the agreement, right. and by the way, they're still paying the town, um, even those two years that the thing was shut off, yeah. we still got our money. Right. Um, and, and that had significant financial impacts for that company, because when they signed the contract with us, within a week, they sold the entire lifetime power output of that facility mm -hmm. on the open market. And so... Um, they actually had to make good on that to whoever yeah. they sold it to under the terms of their contract. So they actually lost significant amounts of money doing that. Um, I'm sure they have plenty. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure <laughs> they probably, they're, they're, they're making free electricity. I yeah. mean, like, I'm sure it yeah. wasn't yeah. like, but they did lose um, some. So, you know, it's in their own fiscal interest to be on the up and up and get it up and running as soon as it, they could and the fact that it took them two years is, to me is like that had to be a serious problem right like which a, a problem that doesn't seem like they've actually resolved according to the residents of that neighborhood it's, yeah i mean if it's true that they turned it on i mean uh, it, it, it's, it seems more than um uh, more than just like coincidental timing yeah and if it's if it's related to the topography or the nature of the bedrock and the mineral nature yeah. of the bedrock, whatever, which to me, like, if it doesn't happen hardly for ever, yeah, and they don't really know why it happens still, and they're like, well, sometimes equipment can go faulty, and that's we both why. lived in Pennsylvania, ringing rock, yeah, right, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a thing, exactly, it's gonna happen. So I. Um, anyway, yeah. sorry. Okay. Yeah, well, no, no. I mean, that's that's a real thing. That's a real thing, um, you know. And then the other, the other, the other select board member uh, comment, uh, just to, to dovetail with the mail, is the request um, that you all saw the email from uh, from Lori Block about having hired an engineer. Yes. Yes. To uh, yeah, that, that was that, surprising. Yeah. To the uh, and and wanted input on the MVP or the, 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 the GZA report that we've commissioned for the drainage of the town roads on Pine Hill. Um, and I did ask, uh, I did ask Marnie to, you know, respond like favorably to that, that it's, to me, that's like the best way to go. Like the, remember when that other resident on Pine Hill, uh, the Pine Hill area, when she retained a lawyer, First thing, yeah. I, first thing I did was invited them to speak publicly, right. and you know that to me the way you avoid lawsuits of that nature is you 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 have the person felt listened to, and the way you have them feel listened to is by actually listening to them. Um, so I, and it, it seemed like the engineer just wanted the copy, like a couple of questions and a copy of the GZA report. And, and yeah, like he so. wanted a couple of questions. Um, Bernie wanted to wanted to um, run it by town council first 
um, and she did. And town council said, "Yeah, we can call him back." But she's on vacation, so I was just gonna. I didn't want to wait the week. I don't. I, I don't know. It, it, she doesn't have access to email, Barony. Oh, she probably just doesn't check in it. But, uh, but, but, it, but it would be a reasonable for I mean, one so of us to send the report, or for Adam. Sure. I mean, right? In Barony's absence. To, well, we, to they're they're writing the report. It's not. The, the report's not done. They oh, I, th I thought they wanted the like the original. Like, oh, you just wrote a response assessment. saying, "Yeah, sure, no problem." Is that what you're saying? Uh, that when the report's available. No, I wanted I wanted to like give the engineer the number for Rosalie from GZA. Oh yeah. And to let Rosen Rosalie right. saying he's going to be called yeah. and just answer his questions. Yeah. yeah. By and, all means, yeah. Like, why not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'll do that tomorrow. I just wanted to notify you. Um, yeah, I think that makes sense. All right. And uh, yeah, and that's that's that. All I right. think so. Um, yeah, so uh, announcements. The next meeting is June 17th, 2024, which will be a reorganization of the select board. Mm -hmm. I hope I hope I'm with you on that meeting. I don't. It's an election. One never knows. Oh, you should remind people. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Thursday. Uh, so, so early voting is happening. It's, it's on the town. It's on the town website. Today, yeah, today, tomorrow, yeah. Wednesday. Um, and the town election is Thursday, 11 to 7. And, uh, yeah, um, yours truly is running for re-election. And, um, and according to uh, Chris Larrabee, it is the first three-way select board contest in anybody in the recorder's new newsroom's recollection. Whoa. <laughs> no, he, there's been a lot of three-way races for school committee, for planning board, etc., but never that anybody could remember for select board. So, so there you go. There you go. That's why I don't gamble on these sorts of things, though. Um, so that's um. Yeah, yeah, and with that, and. Um, just everybody, you do, you do want to be here on the 17th for reorganization. That's also usually when appointments are set for next year, too. That's a big... We'll be doing that. That's a big... Right. That's a big... Um, usually tends to be the longest meeting of June because a lot of, a lot of stuff to sign. So, with that, I'll okay. see you at the polls. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. And, um, yeah. Thank you, everybody. If I don't get to meet with you every week, I will miss you.